Hi, this is Shreng Siddharth once again. Welcome to the fresh module of this course of Kotlin programming series. Now in the previous module, we actually kick-started our Kotlin programming, right? Now, from this module onwards, we will again start fresh and practice once again how to create a new project. Now in this video, we will learn about what is REPL REPL that stands for Read Eval Print Loop. So here again, I will simply start my IntelliJ IDE. And right now I am using Mac OS. If you are on Windows, then also you can follow along with me. So here this is the project that we created in the previous module. So here I will simply delete it and I will simply start fresh by simply creating a new project. And here simply select Kotlin, Kotlin JVM and then hit on next. And now let us define the project name. Let's say Kotlin programming again and then simply define the project location and down the side simply select the project SDK which is actually the Java JDK in our case. Now if you are watching this video for the first time then let me tell you how to set the path to the project SDK that is the Java JDK. Now if you are on Mac and if it is not selected then simply select this new and then navigate to library then Java then Java Virtual Machine and then here you will find the Java JDK inside which contents and then simply select Home and then hit on Open. Now if you are using Windows then you will find the Java JDK inside C drive within which you will have program files within which you will have Java folder inside that you will get the Java JDK. So simply select that Java JDK folder and hit on OK. And now let us click on finish. And here we have simply created our first project. Now make sure you are working under the project view. And now simply select the Kotlin programming inside which you will have the source folder. Now simply right click on it. And now let us create our first Kotlin file. Now all these steps we have already followed in the previous video. I am simply repeating it so as to make you familiar with how to get started with Kotlin programming again. Because more you practice, then more you remember. So here, let me define my file name as, let us call it my first and then simply select file, hit on OK. And now here, I will simply define my main method. F function main args colon then array of string. This is the syntax that we follow in case of Kotlin, right? Now inside this, we will write our code from the next video. Now in this video, let us now check out what is REPL, that is R-E-P-L, read, eval, print loop. So here at the top, you will find tools, inside which you will have Kotlin, within which you will find Kotlin REPL. So simply select it. And this will simply open a window at the bottom. Now the purpose of using REPL is that Inside the REPL, you can run your Kotlin code as quickly as possible. Let's say, let us type 1 plus 2 and let's see what happens. Now to execute the code inside the REPL, you need to simply press command plus enter in case of Mac and in case of Windows, you have to type control plus enter. So since I am using Mac, so I will simply use command plus enter. And now here I get 3 as the output. So inside the REPL, you can simply execute your codes as quickly as possible. Let's try something different. 10 minus, let's say 7, command plus enter. We get 3, right? Now let's try something different. 10 divided by 7, control plus enter. We get 1 as the output since we are using 10 and 7 as integer value. Now let us use 10.0 divided by 7, control plus enter and here we get the decimal point value that is the exact value that we will get by dividing 10.0 divided by 7, right? The floating point value we are getting here. Now let us try something different, print and then let us type hello and now control plus enter and here we get hello in the output console, right? So the purpose of using REPL is that you can test your code as quickly as possible. So whatever code that we will write inside the main function, 
if you want to test it without running the whole application, you can simply copy and paste it here and simply press Ctrl plus Enter in the REPL, right? So as to test your output. And now here you can simply type var space str equal to let's say hello, hit enter. Now remember I have simply pressed enter, not Ctrl plus enter. So in the next line I can simply perform some operation on this str variable let's say str plus and now hit enter and now I will simply print the value of str. So in this way you can simply type multiple lines in case of REPL and now simply press Ctrl plus enter and here we get the output as hello world combined, right? So in this way you can simply type multiple lines in case of REPL as well. So this was all about this video and at last I would say REPL stands for read eval print loop. So always remember this. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you.